Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com back on Bull Shoals Lake again with another Vexus boat. Going to go over the Vexus 189 AVX High Performance Bass Boat. One of the first things I want to start with on this, guys, is we're going to start with the trailer, just like we did on the 1980 AVX. This has the Victor Shield coating on the trailer. This is a C-channel trailer with conduit for the wiring to run. You get a full spare tire and wheel, that's standard. You also get a swing-away tongue that's going to be standard on this trailer as well, LED lighting. So again, top-notch products. The trailer is built by the boat manufacturer specifically for this boat. So it's not an aftermarket trailer that they modify or have adjustable bunks. Again, the trailer is built specifically for the boat. Next, we're going to jump on the inside and go from the bow and work our way to go over some of the really awesome features of this boat. All right, guys, one of the first things I want to talk about is the painting process on this boat. The nice thing about this, this is a two-part paint. It has the hard case paint with a clear coat protectant. So it's again a two-part paint. So you've got your base color and clear coat with the hard case protectant to really be able to protect that boat from dock abrasions, um, trees, lures, anything that would normally damage like a single stage paint. It's got this hard case clear protectant on it. Another standard feature that's a really big deal on this boat that separates it from the others is we have a 24 volt 4 Trex trolling motor. That is a standard feature on this boat. So this 189 has a, the exact same features that you're looking at at the other Vexus boat line. So we've got a really good trolling motor to be able to get out on the water. It's not an underpowered trolling motor to try to keep the cost down. It's the good product what people are going to want. The trolling motor does come standard. That's going to be a recessed trolling motor pedal. Now, this boat was built with the option to not have that in it, but it does come with a recessed trolling motor pedal. On the bow, we've got our tilt and trim switch up here. We've got our anchor light controls. And as we work our way back down, we're going to start to get in some of the boat compartments. All right, guys, as we start up front and work our way towards the back, one of the first things I want to point out is this boat has equipped with the optional three position seating up front for you crappie fishermen to be able to have the post seating up front for, to benefit you for crappie fishing. The second thing I want to say is we have a rod strap over here on the starboard side. We have port and starboard side dry compartments that are also carpeted. And one of the handy features about that I like again about the Vexus, everything's completely finished out. So the underside of our lids right here is actually painted, so it's not in a raw tight format. We've got a weather stripping seal on here to prevent water from getting in. And of course the compression latches to be able to suck everything down to make it watertight. The middle compartment here is actually going to be the rod locker. Now this middle compartment rod locker will allow lengths of rods up to eight feet long to be able to be used and it also has a rod organizer system to be able to hold the rods down in place. You've got gas assisted lids to be able to allow it to ease when you're opening those type compartments right here. Now on from the front deck we're going to start going over everything on the console. Next up on the console, again, one of the standard features that's going to separate this boat from other boats is you have a full gauge cluster package that comes standard from the factory. This console can fit a 9-inch screen in the dash. This one happens to have a Garmin in it. You have full switches over here on the right-hand side to control everything. And one of the big things, again, just like the 1980 AVX, you have hydraulic steering that comes standard on this boat. And again, a stainless steel prop that is also standard package on this boat here. Seating, we have bucket seats that become standard. You have the option for a coin box with a step up to the back or a middle flip down seat. That is also an option that you can add to this. So you can go from just your standard bucket seating, you can have some storage with a coin box or have that third seat for you if you're running around with a third person in this boat. Next up, we're gonna go over the back deck and kind of cover what glass and fuse means. I know I got too excited on the 1980 video and didn't really explain that very well, but now we're gonna step up to the back deck and show you exactly what that means. All right, on the back deck, guys, starting over here, we've got a port and starboard compartment here on the back side. And what really gets to that fiberglass and fuse is on the back deck of this 189, these compartments back here are fiberglass compartments. The port and starboard side rear compartments back here are fiberglass. They all are insulated with foam around them so they can be doubled as a cooler if necessary as well too. Again, we have a finished top lid here for the front. 
Next, we move over to our live well. Again, a fiberglass live well here, divided live well. You have the aerator and pump out, again, with a finished lid on top. You have the other side of the live well over here, again, divided live well. Then you finish up with our port side storage compartment. Again, that is fiberglass, that is uh, foam insulated, and can double as a cooler as well if you wanted to. Next, we're going to move back to the battery compartment and go over that. All right, coming up to the final compartment here, I want to talk about the battery compartment, which is one of what I think is one of the most compartments on a boat when it comes to organization, rigging. You tend to find a lot of clutter, like it's actually kind of forgotten about or an afterthought at a lot of boat companies. But back here in the back, you're going to find three batteries, one cranking battery and two for our trolling motor batteries. Has your main circuit breaker on off switch. We also have a standard two bank battery charger that comes in here. The main difference you're going to see is the gas tank is not located back here. The gas tank is actually underneath the seats. That's going to help with stability. That's going to help with performance. That's going to help with planing. It also helps alleviate from a rigging standpoint the ease of being able to reach the aerator pumps, the live well pumps. And again, this is going to be exactly the same configuration that you see on the 1980 AVX high performance hull. Another one of the characteristics that you're not going to see is although this boat may look like several competitor boats out there on the market, the underneath side of this boat is completely different. This is an AVX high performance hull, a pad hull, if you will. This is not a modified V. A lot of times on the modified Vs, by the time you get past the consoles and further back, you've got a flat bottom type boat versus a pad boat like this one. And a flat bottom boat's gonna porpoise a little more. It's gonna give you a little rougher ride. This boat's gonna be a little smoother. You're gonna have that high performance feel from that pad style hull on there as well too. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed the Russell Marine Products product review of the Vexus 189 AVX high performance aluminum bass boat. Again, some of the key features I wanna go over four Trex trolling motor standard, recessed trolling motor standard. Um, you've got the Victor Shield armor on the trailer that comes standard. Spare tire, LED lights. We've got fiberglass infused construction. We've got gas tank underneath the seats to add to stability. We've got units that are capable of a nine inch screen size that can be flush mounted in the dash. We've got the pad design. This is not a modified V. Again, this is a high performance aluminum bass, but with the AVX technology that's on here. Hydraulic steering standard, uh, stainless steel prop that comes standard. I almost said aluminum because I'm so used to aluminum boats coming standard with aluminum props. So again, a lot of value, a lot of quality components, super quality construction going into these boats. So be sure to check these things out and look for our other product review, review videos to come out on Vexus Boats.